I, like most people, when Multiverses was first announced, I was all for it. I mean, how could you really complain about a game with all these characters from different IPs and universes beating the absolute shit out of each other in some cartoony platform or kind of like Super Smash Bros? I mean, I say this, but Brawlhalla kind of did the same thing with a bunch of crossovers, and you'll never catch me on that game. Okay, I tried. I know they got cool crossovers like John Cena, Darth... Holy shit, they got Darth Maul and Ben 10? Ben? I might... Okay, hold up. Okay, so Brawlhalla's kind of cool. Still not gonna play it. We're going back to multiverses though the point of the video They might get Ben 10 in the future and if they do Warner Brothers just I'll, I'll suck you off for it Honestly, when this goofy ass game came out You probably saw me stream it once or twice made a video about it on the second channel And let me tell you when the game first came out It was like getting a breath of fresh air in the gaming community Just the air was breathed into my mouth straight from mother nature herself I mean it was crisp quality no pollution. It was great See I never got to play Super Smash Bros growing up and Brawlhalla left a weird taste in my mouth I think it's because most of my homies were better at it than I was and it just didn't have that interest for me to want to keep playing But then I saw you can kick people's asses with Shaggy and LeBron James I said sign me up I'm playing a goddamn fighting game now when the game was in open beta I had a lot of fun I'm not gonna lie I felt like an actual gamer who was doing more than just the story games and the occasional sports game And maybe I played Street Fighter once or twice But this made me feel like a man that and it was an excuse to play a video game with LeBron James in it He could slam dunk on people throw the basketball like this man is fighting actual gods, cyborgs, and crazy little furry creatures with a basketball. There's a full video on my second channel, it's like 12 minutes of me hooping with LeBron in the alpha, which kind of wants to bring me back to my next point. Beta, alpha, they're the same thing. I don't wear a wolf sweatshirt, so I don't know the actual meanings of those. Obviously, one comes before the other. It's like the chicken and the egg. I just don't care enough. Now, I will say the beta did feel a lot better than the alpha. I feel like a lot of people have been saying that, so it's not the first time you've heard it somewhere, but it, it's still fun. Don't get too crazy. Okay, it's enjoyable. Enjoyable. Now is it a masterpiece? No. But the fact that I can play as LeBron, kick Superman's ass, it's wild when you think about it. And all the movesets having references to each character but still making sense in a video game platformer is honestly kind of sick. I like the attention and care. There's so many different IPs that this game should be the next massive free-to-play game out there. I get it. Some people don't love fighting games. I know it's not going to be the next Fortnite. There's been so many free games where everyone's like, it's the next big thing. X Defiance currently going on. That's pretty sick if you want me to do a video on that. I definitely will. I've been enjoying it. But this game right here, the possibilities should be endless. And I like that we're jumping into an era where we're just putting different universes all in one game. It really started way back when we had a fighting game, the PlayStation All-Stars. There was like Kratos, Little Big Planet, that dude with a hat, Mr. Papa Rappa or whatever. But I will say Multiverses is just sick. I can stab someone as a freaking banana, put them in a sleeping bag as a masked serial killer, teleport with Rick and Morty, go super shaggy. Yeah, it's kind of fire. And then on top of that, I can whip around in a car as a weird little midget Furby type thing. While doing that, I'm fighting up against the Iron Giant, Shazam, Wonder Woman, Batman, a bunch of superheroes with all kinds of powers, and here I am choosing goddamn LeBron James, and all he does is throw a basketball and put his nuts on your face with a slam dunk. And I know some of y'all watching this would like that. You're absolute freaks. Like I said, the alpha is finally out. I'm not the greatest at combos. You've probably seen the gameplay, right? Look, it's me playing the game. I'm having a lot of fun, hopefully, as they add more content like the Wicked Witch. Witch of the West, maybe Ben 10 in the future, all these other characters, they have the ability to add. I hope the game stays alive for long, not like the last time. Because I'll be honest, the first time it came out, it lasted for about a week and then died super, super quickly. And shout out to getting free Battle Pass. Um, it's kind of cool because I played the first time it was out. Now I get Battle Pass for free. But that brings me to my next point. Why does every game have a Battle Pass? And this game doesn't have just a Battle Pass. It has loot crates. What? Yeah, we got loot boxes. We got a shop to buy skins you got a battle pass like and on top of that that's not even where the buying ends it's super greedy i get it it's a video game corporation they're gonna do this why do you think my team is dead over on the 2k scene the possibilities for fighters and costumes and movesets are insane like the sky is truly the limit with this game if they truly cater to the ips i mean there's so many different audiences you could bring in from this game alone that it could be huge for people but like i said when it comes to buying things buying the actual fighters is a ad absolute grind. I've been playing a lot of this game to get footage for this video specifically, and I'm just now able to buy my first fighter. Now, Joker, I can't buy. He's 6,000, but I got 3,000 points, and I want to buy one guy, so y'all let me know who I should use. Maybe if this gets, let's say, 15 to 20 likes, I'll stream an entire hour or two of me playing with just that character. Let me know if y'all want to see some multiverses streams, more content than just this. I like the game, so I'm going to play it anyways. Also, if you're new to the channel, 
Hey, what's up? Welcome. I'm returning after six months. Crazy things happened, got cheated on, then I went and did the hardest job in America, and now I'm back to playing video games and making dumb videos. What's up? Crazy lore intro, right? Right? Anyways, if you've been watching the channel, welcome back. Life got a little bit crazy. I'm not playing 2K, my bad, but LeBron is in the video, so suck it up. Enjoy the video. Stay subscribed. Like, comment, have fun, I don't know. But <laughs> back to the actual video. Another thing that came out with multiverses as it, you know, re-released is the rifts, and I think it's a cool idea. I haven't had a huge time to delve into it. I played one tank minigame where I was shooting drones as LeBron James in a goddamn tank. That was absolutely crazy. Didn't expect that. I know there's boss fat like bite the battles, fights, English. I don't know how to speak it. Which is crazy, because yeah, this is a scripted video compared to my usual live commentary. So you think I would know exactly what to say, huh? But either way, it's sick, and then you you can play offline, you can kind of test the move sets, go against different fighters, and then you don't have to play sweats all day long. Because I'm not gonna lie, I've played multiverses a good amount, and the fact that every two games I run into a guy who wants to toss my salad, like with Joker or Harley Quinn, like those guys look complicated to use and you're insane with them. And then the other time it's a random Discord mod who's like 450 pounds, sweat just dripping off his face onto the keyboard and he's flying around as Superman. And we also have to acknowledge that somehow there's just this green dog chilling fighting, vibing with some of the most iconic characters in fiction. It's literally the equivalent to the ball boy being subbed in during the All-Star game and the team keeps them around for morale. Does anybody play with the rain dog guy? Like, who is using this dog? I'm dreading the day that the new events tab that they added where they have you play as specific characters. Like, if you make me play as Steven Universe or this goddamn Clifford wannabe, I'm sorry, it's just not appealing. I'd rather play as the socially anxious banana with a spear because he goes crazy. Joker, like I mentioned earlier, is in the game with which is insanity, because now I can play as the Joker, Agent Smith, and Jason Voorhees was also added. And I'm too pussy to watch a horror movie, so I don't even remember which one he's from, but Jason's kind of sick. I've seen some people complain about the menus, which, cool, I get it, it's kind of like a Fortnite ripoff. But for those guys who still play N64 version of Smash Bros and only put on deodorant once a week, you can chill out, not complain, it's clean, it's simple, everything's decently organized, I won't lie, it's looking a lot better than the sweat stains on your t-shirt, my boy. And that's why I'm not going to complain about a lot of things in this video is yeah it has some of it's like eh, this sucks or oh this isn't the greatest but people just complain to complain on youtube and i get that controversy sales but chill out bro it's a video game it's free no one forces you to play it it has a sick roster of characters and i'm not gonna lie i don't know what this video is supposed to be totally i just wanted to hop on record a little video about multiverses because i've been playing it a ton now that i'm back and i'm gonna try to jump into youtube again and it'll probably be like most free to play overhyped games and i'll forget to play it in two weeks but i'm enjoying it i'm kind of debating on unlocking Rick or Morty and streaming with them, so let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more videos, more sit-down talk stuff, me just vibing. I don't know what kind of content y'all want to see. I'm kind of getting back on the saddle. I'm like a cowboy who, you know, instead of riding around in Montana, he found out that his wife cheated on him, so instead of working on a ranch, he went to go work at the IT department, but he hates IT, so he came back to the ranch, and now he's trying to get his farm and everything back to normal. Otherwise, that that's it, really, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, me just speaking to speak, having a good time. I'm, I'm gonna peace out, gonna go record some more videos, maybe some X Defiant, maybe some 2K, maybe I'm gonna go play with myself, that's up for you to decide. I hope you guys have a good day, we back, have a good one, I'm gonna go take a nap.